everyone, Morgan and Husband here. So I have gotten the question of what's in Husband's bug out bag for like ever. So finally, he's going to show us what's in his bug out bag. So take it away. So here's my bug out bag. It is a uh, LA Police Gear Atlas. It is the same as uh, Morgan's. And uh, yeah, I've got some cool patches on the outside and a couple things hanging here. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, I just kind of want to jump into it. I carry a shemog, um, you know, good for everything. Um, I've got a sleeping mat, uh, inflatable, packs down real nice. I have my, uh, my lightweight 40 degree bag. Um, this is a really good bag for summertime and springtime. Um, for winter, when it gets real cold, real, real cold, uh, might need a little bit of additional, additional uh, heat there. For cooking, I have a jet boil with uh, all the accessories in it. Uh, I've got my propane. I've got some, uh, let's start more cooking. I've got a backup cooking set, uh, Primus right here, which is all aluminum. It's uh, a pot with a little pan. It's got an extra uh, uh, burner and some extra fuel inside of there. And food wise, um, I've got a couple Ziploc, big Ziploc bags here full of food. Now, I'm partial to stuff that's just super quick to eat. So you'll see in like this one, I've got some, uh, some mountain houses, some single serving mountain houses. I've got several of those. And I've, I've also got Quest Bars in here, um, which are great since I'm on Keto. Uh, they're super low carb. Uh, the beef sticks are low carb. Um, I'm kind of cheating a little bit with the mountain houses because they are, you know, in the, in the high 20s, low 30 range on carbs. But uh, if I'm going to be bugging out, I'm going to be very active, moving a lot, and, and will need those carbs for, for energy. For, so uh, also food-wise, I've got another Ziploc here that has uh, a lot of just quick, quick uh, meals, quick snacks and meals. Uh, single serving spam pouches. Also, I have uh, tuna pouches. Um, I also have chicken pouches. Which, uh, which are great. These, these guys can be used for you know, lunches or dinners or even breakfasts as necessary. But uh, plenty of food, so I'm not gonna go hungry. I've got another Shemog in here, which again, they're great for everything. So finally, here's my water system. Uh, this is a little bag. I've got a, a water filter straw in there and a, a little uh, roll-up container uh, to just grab the water and go. I've also got for uh, my ham radio, a roll-up antenna that uh, I can just string up in a tree and uh, you know get uh, get some good reception with that. In this compartment, in this compartment, I have uh, extra undergarments as well as a dry bag if I need to keep anything dry. I've got a uh, I've got extra socks with me all the time, and I also have a uh, camp towel. In here I have a sewing kit, um, pretty basic. I've got a map of uh, my area here in Texas. I've also got a uh, notepad that I can use to jot down uh, any kind of notes that I need. To go with a notepad, I've got a pen and a Sharpie. And I also have a compass to go with the map. Uh, really good stuff here. I have uh, my water bladder that uh, is currently full right now and uh, it snakes out to the outside so I've got hydration. Um, I've got uh, a couple side pockets here. Uh, you'll see on the outside of this side pocket I carry a thermometer. Um, this is just a cheap thermometer I got on Amazon. It tells the current temperature, the minimum temperature, and the maximum temperature in a 24 hour period. So it's really nice uh, just to you know, kind of give me an idea of what temperatures I'm dealing with. On this outside pouch, I've got some zip ties and some paracord, ever essential items. Now on the other side, open it up, I've got a, uh, a lantern, a light lantern, as well as a uh, fire kit. Um, all kinds of goodies in here, um, not going to get into it, but it is a fire kit that's got multiple ways to start fire as well as tinder. And uh, there's some more tinder. So moving on to the front of my pack, I have uh, in this top part, I've got a uh, nice little flashlight, 
I've got a uh, another light that attaches to a hat in case uh, in case I need a light with my hat, and I've got a uh, headlamp as well as a few uh, glow sticks. Also have some uh, extra spare batteries for all of these lights that I have. On the outside, I have uh, my multi-tool, which I like to keep easily accessible. And I have a carabiner in case I need to attach anything to my bag uh, quickly. I can just, you know, strap something on there. Going into it, I have an assortment of things. Okay, so starting this top pouch, I have some medications, uh, just a, an assortment of different everyday over-the-counter stuff that uh, I might find necessary. More medication, which is again, more over-the-counter stuff in case I need it. And I've got a uh, little Ziploc bag here. I've got uh, some contact solution and contact case because I do wear contacts. And I also have some uh, biodegradable camp toilet paper. Lower pouch, I have a couple different first aid kits here. Um, both of these have uh, basically been pieced together. The, I've pieced them together to have uh, got some like quick clot, some gloves, some uh, some band aids, and some gauze. I've got some lip balm in there, some uh, antibiotic ointment, and uh, more gauze. This other small first aid kit is roughly the same. It's got uh, an assortment of assortment of items, some alcohol pad, prep pads, some more band-aids, some more gauzes, things like that. Then over here in the, uh, the very front, we open up this pouch, I have a small backup multi-tool that, uh, that's come in handy a few times. I've got some, uh, some patches for my uh, sleeping mat some bug repellent, which is always a good thing, and uh, some hand warmers that have been left over since winter. That was awesome. Thanks for showing your bug out bag. And it's very interesting yep. because his bug out bag is just extraordinarily different than mine. And every bug out bag is going to be like that. You know, he's my husband. And just because he's my husband doesn't mean that we have the exact same bug out bag. So it's just interesting to get different perspectives and, and viewpoints on um, everybody's bug out bag, you know, because every single bug out bag is going to be so different based on needs, skill level, whatever. And something else is, you know, my bug out bag is constantly changing. Um, you know, so just like, just so like hers. And, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I, I go through it on a regular basis and swap things out and, and as I'm, you know, out hiking and backpacking with it and, you know, determining what I do and don't want, uh, you know, things change. Yeah. And I just want to very, give a very quick shout out uh, to Step One Survival. He sent this uh, Tactical Beard Owners Club patch to my husband. It was a very generous gesture on his part. So uh, thank you for that. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Thanks, husband, for showing off the rug out bag and uh, conquer tomorrow by preparing today. See you guys.